In the early hours of July 5, 2022, New Mexico State Police officers who had been driving along Interstate 25 noticed a car swerving in and out of lanes. They continued to follow the vehicle in question for a few moments to see if this could have been some sort of mistake by the driver or to see if said person was driving under the influence. The latter would eventually prove true, but this traffic stop would uncover something much darker as the investigation started to develop. Hey there. Hello. How are you? All right. Just all right? Yeah. Okay. okay. Should you have lessons? There's a lot right there between your legs. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I was a little bit nervous. So was I, the way you're driving? Huh? I said... You mentioned that you were nervous? Right. I was nervous while I was behind you, driving down I-40. You were in lane number one, at times. You went away from lane number one, all the way over. Didn't use a signal. Had problems keeping the your, 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 your vehicle one lane. And then, when you merge on from uh, westbound 40 to northbound 25, you took that curve way too fast. I did. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm I thought you were going to crash. No, I don't. I didn't say. I don't think so. I'm just saying I thought you were going to crash. Okay, and then you have a bunch of kids in the car. How many kids? You have one, two, three, four, five, six. Who are these kids to you? Uh, this is my friend. That's your friend? Yeah. How old your friend? 18. Uh, that girl's not 18? Huh? That girl's not 18? Yeah. No, she's not. No, I don't think she is. That girl's not 18. Trust me. She don't look 18. Ma'am, how old are you? I didn't ask you your name. I asked you how old, uh, how old you were. Jeremy, turn the car off and come back here and talk to me. All right. Let me see the keys. Thank you. Come on out. Why's your, why, why's your zipper, your buttons down on your crotch? <laughs> well, I probably just forgot. Okay. Come back here. Come, come back with me, Jeremy. Sit right here. I am. Uh, I'll button my zipper. Uh, yeah, please button your zipper. Yeah. I mean, I had to. I had to take it like a, a piss and. Um, good. I'm good. Okay. Jeremy, how much you had to drink tonight? I haven't had anything to drink. Okay, I'm asking you again. Okay, you can barely stand still. Your speech is slurred. I've never heard you speak. You have a strong odor of, of, of an alcoholic beverage admitting for keeping your pockets. Okay. Yeah, but you, yeah, but yeah, yeah, you actually have an overwhelming odor of an alcoholic beverage emitting from your breath. I know I haven't been drinking. So how much have you been drinking? Based on your driving, you're driving like, like a total idiot. How much you had to drink? I messed up. Gotcha. And I did, because, but I haven't been drinking. Can you explain why I can smell from your breath every time you breathe and talk to me? The, what is that? Can you explain to me why I can smell the strong odor of an alcoholic beverage and being from your breath every time you breathe and talk to me? Explain that odor. Oh, well, I don't even know. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, 
I haven't had anything to to drink. When did you last drink? Like probably um it's been a it's been a little while. Like an hour? I would say it's more than an yeah, like more maybe than, two? Yeah. R roughly? Okay. Like two hours. Like That's fair. Because you know what? Two hours is totally is, is totally different than no I haven't been drinking. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I mean, that's okay. Uh, no, that's okay. We're not, we're not going to argue I about mean, it. Uh, I mean, I know what I smell. I know what I hear. I know what I see. Okay? Simple as that. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. Well, you already did. You said I hadn't been drinking. And then I kind of played you. said, was it an hour ago? It's like, no, longer. Two hours? Yeah. It's been a few hours. Okay. I mean, uh, gotcha. Well, I mean, we're not gonna argue about that. I mean, I know what I smell. Okay. Do you think you're safe to drive? Do you think you're safe to drive? Yeah. You do? Absolutely. Once again, you and I will disagree on that too. I don't think you're safe to drive. Just based on just based on on, on how you're driving. All over I-40. Again, going way too fast around that curve. Okay. Just stand right here, in front of my car. All those people in the car, who are they? They're just my friends. I, don't, I mean... Do you normally hang out with people who, who are young? Not... not how, uh, how old are you? I'm 41. Hey, go and take your hands out of your pockets, bro. Don't, don't do it again, okay? Hey man, I'm Officer Apodaca with State Police. I'm gonna ask you a little bit about uh, about what you had to drink tonight. What did you have uh, your last drink? It's been about three hours. Okay, about three hours. Where did you have your last drink? It, it was just. Um... Go and take your hand out of your pocket, bro. I'm gonna pat you down real quick, okay, bro? Just for weapons. Okay, don't put your hand in that pocket again. I know you got a knife right there. I'm gonna actually take it out. Okay, I'm gonna hold this back here, okay? Five, ten. All right. Go ahead and turn around real quick, All right, you're good, man. I'm gonna hold your knife back here, okay? You keep putting it in your hat, your hands in your pockets, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe No, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, but, but, I understand. Um, so, where, when did you have your last drink? Or where? I'm sorry. Uh, I was just um, at my house. You're at your house? And that's where you had your last drink? Yeah. Okay. Is that where you're coming from? Is your house? Yeah. Yeah. So, all these people were, were coming from your house? No, we went to go pick somebody up. That, um, why? Because, um, I don't know that we Yeah, we went to go pick somebody up. Okay. But where were you coming from, is what I was asking. Like, what was, what was your original location before you, before you drove to this spot right here? That was my house. 
So your house. So you're coming from your house. So you're going to go pick someone up. Where were? Where's that person at? That we went to go pick up. Yeah. What's the What's the location? What's the destination? They um, they weren't the, they weren't there. Oh okay. So now where were you guys headed? Well, we're headed back to the house. Oh, back to your house. Where do you live, man? Right here in the North Valley. In the North Valley. Okay, cool. Uh, what did you have to drink there at your house? I just had, um, I didn't have very much to drink. No, but I asked, what did you have to drink? I didn't have very much. Yeah, no, th that's okay. That's okay. I'm just asking what you had to drink. Was it beer, wine, uh, alcohol? Um... Yeah, I had, uh, I had some beer. You had some uh, beer? Earlier. Uh, How many of them? Um, like three. Three? What kind? Three beers. Do you know what kind? It was like uh, sorry, I don't no, know. you're good. I appreciate you. You realize it. It was uh, soul, the uh, soul beers. Soul? Is it like a IPA or is it just like a lager? No, it's just a regular. I've regular never heard beer. of it. That's why soul. Is uh, was it a big can? Uh, twelve ounce, twenty four, sixteen? No, it was like uh, just regular. Yeah, like, well, would you would you show me with your hands, just like how big it is, like this big, this big, this big? It's just a regular. It's just like a regular. Oh, so like a tall boy? Thank you. It's just like a regular uh, uh, twelve ounce. A twelve ounce? Yeah. You had the three twelve ounces. Okay. All right. Cool. So, just to make sure that you're okay to drive, okay? Uh, would you mind uh, doing a couple of field sobriety tests just to make sure? Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Would you would mind, or would, or you would you would want to do them? What's it? <laughs> uh, you do you would, mind, you or or do oh, yeah. or would you want to do them? Do you want to do them? Yes or no? I don't really want to. You don't want to do them? No. I don't want to. Okay. I'll, I'm just gonna let you know if you. Don't do the test. I'm gonna have to place you under arrest. Do you want to do the test? All right. Well, let's do the test. Yeah. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that that you you have a choice, like I said. But just I just want to let you know that I'm gonna place you under arrest if you refuse the test. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to be under arrest. Okay. No. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. so, so do you want to do them? Yes or no? So, yes or no? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. Let's walk back to my car over here. Go and walk in front of me, man. Oh, okay. And then uh, I'll just have you sit right there on that front bumper right there. Okay. Just right there, man. Yeah. Just hang out right there. All right, man. So have a seat right there for me on this guy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like All sit right. down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sit down? Yes, sir. Yep. <laughs> so uh, got a quick question for you. Do you got any uh, traumatic brain injuries? Uh, possibly. I mean, uh, I really, I don't know. Maybe, you know, possibly. What's that? Yeah, possibly. Possibly? Why do you say possibly? It'd be a yes or a no. But how do you know? You would have to go to the doctor. How would you know such things? You, the doctor would tell you. So if well, I haven't been to a doctor, so I don't. A, a traumatic brain injury would step from, stem stem off from something like a serious brain injury or something. Something along those lines. It's yes or no. If you don't know, you probably don't have a I don't, traumatic. I don't know. I, okay. I mean, uh, do you got any walk uh, problems walking, turning, or balancing? Possibly. Something. It's a yes or a no. You're, I mean, like I said, I'm just trying to help you out, just trying to gauge uh, if you have any problems walking during or balancing. Okay, you're not helping yourself at all. Okay, I just want to let you know. 
Um, do you wear glasses? No. Do you wear contacts? No. Okay. Do you got resting nystagmus? What is that? Resting nystagmus? What is that? Resting nystagmus. If you don't know, you probably don't have it. I don't understand what that. Okay. What you're saying? Don't don't worry. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain a specific set of instructions. Okay. I want you to pay attention to them closely. You're going to look at the very tip of my finger. Okay. When I tell you to. Okay. Don't move your head. Only move your eyes. Okay. I want you to follow the tip of my finger just like that, side to side. Okay. Do you understand those questions or the those uh, statements that I made to you? Yes, sir. All right. So for this next one, same instructions, man. Don't move your head, just move your eyes, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the tip of my finger up and down, okay? So, same thing, don't move your head, only move your eyes, okay? Do you got any questions with that, man? No. No, okay, cool. Uh, uh, All right, cool. So. Uh, would you agree that this is pretty flat right here, the surface of this road? Not really. But, no? Um, yeah, I mean, it's like, like an incline, it seems like. Or, incline or decline? I see that it's at a decline. Okay, uh, yeah, right. yeah, it's a decline. Okay, there is a bit of a decline, but it's straight, right? There's, there's not big old humps or anything like that? No? Yeah. Okay, cool. So are those shoes comfortable to walk in, man? See the tennis shoes? Yes, sir. Okay, cool. So. Just go ahead and hang out right here by this arrow for me. Give me one sec, okay, boss? Five, four, zero, go ahead. Five, four, zero. I'll be in around to the bond game window. It's ten for break five, one, seven, go ahead. All right. So, what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you go ahead and uh, face your truck right there, okay? And go ahead and stand right there for me. Yeah, just right there. Okay, go ahead and put your feet together just like this, hands down by your side, okay? Stay in that position until I tell you to move otherwise, okay? So, what I want you to do is imagine an imaginary line from your left foot going on to infinity that way, okay? That line's going to be straight, it's going to be the width of your foot. Okay, can you imagine that line for me? Yes, yeah. Yes or no? I mean, uh, imagine a line? Yeah, imagine okay. a line. All right. <laughs> I'll imagine a line. Yes or no? Can you imagine the line for me? Sure. Yeah. Can you see that line? Yeah. Okay. All right. So what I want you to do is I want you to put your right foot in front of your left foot on that line just like this, okay? Heel to toe touching. Yep. Stay in that position until I tell you to move otherwise, okay? Just go ahead and keep your hands down by your side, okay? So, what I want you to do is I want you to take nine heel-to-toe steps on that line, okay? You're going to make a few small turns to turn around and make nine heel-to-toe steps coming back, okay? So, it's going to look something like this, okay? So, hands down by my side, okay? Right foot in front of my left foot. So, it's going to be one, two, three. I'm going to make a few small turns, okay? Keeping my front foot planted. One, two, three three okay so i was walking heel to toe i was looking at my toe while i was counting my steps i want you to do the exact same thing okay right so uh go get go ahead and get back into that starting position to see that you lost your balance <laughs> okay so do you got any questions with that so like i said nine heel to toe steps you're gonna make a few small turns keeping your front foot planted nine heel to toe steps coming back okay uh, during this test, you can't stop until you've completed the test, okay? Do you understand? Okay. Yes or no? Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you got any questions with that? I don't think so. No. You don't think so? No. No, you don't got questions? No? Yes, okay. All right. So, if you understand all the instructions, like I said, make sure to look at your toe and count out loud each step, okay? Do you got that? Yes, sir. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. If you understand all the yeah. instructions? Yeah. If you understand all the instructions, then you can go ahead and begin, okay? Okay. One, two. Mrs. steps off line. Mrs. Hilato. Mrs. Hilato. Mrs. Hilato. Improper turn. 
steps offline. Steps offline, Mr. Silver Toe. So. Steps offline, Mrs. Hilato. Mrs. Hilato. Is that 10 steps? I did the 9. Huh? Uh, I'm sorry, I did the 9. Yeah, I know. It, it, I thought you had done a 10 on that way back. Oh, okay. Okay, so. Well, I could do 10. Did you do 10? Because you, you went 9 and then you made another step. I just thought you said 9. Yeah, 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 it was just it was just nine. But okay, so for this next test, we're gonna put our feet together, hands down by our side, just like this. Okay, man. So stay in that position until I tell you to move. Otherwise, feet together, just like that. Okay. So for this test, you're gonna pick a leg of your choosing. Okay. Doesn't matter which leg you pick. Okay. You're gonna elevate one, balance on the other. Okay. Go ahead and keep your hands down by your side, just like that. Yeah. So you're gonna, like I said, elevate one leg, pick up one leg. Okay, the elevated leg is gonna be approximately six inches off the floor. It's about a Coke can if you can imagine that, okay? So you're gonna keep that elevated foot parallel to the ground. And while you're doing that, you're gonna look at your toe and count in the matter of 1,000s. Because it'll be like 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, so on and so forth until I tell you to stop, okay? So what I'll do is I'll demonstrate it for you. Okay, so check it out. I'm gonna balance on my right and I'm gonna elevate my left, okay? So check it out. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005. Okay, I want you to do the exact same thing, okay? Do you got any questions with them? No, sir. All right, go ahead and begin. Sways, puts foot down, uses arms for balance. Started over the numbers. Sways. Puts foot down. Regardless, if the driver's gonna be original 47 or not, go ahead and start at 46. The other leg. What's that, man? You're gonna stop the test? Okay. Go ahead and just, just leave it right there, man. Well, let's walk over to my car real quick, bro. Go ahead and have a seat right there, bro. Go ahead and have a seat. Okay. And then, uh, so what's your highest level of education, man? Well, I mean, I have a... You have what? Yeah, I mean, I have a college degree. You got a college degree? Yes. So, since you have a college degree, would you uh, say that you know the alphabet and you know how to count to 100? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So, what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you recite the alphabet going forward from the letter H to the letter S. I want you to do that without singing the alphabet, okay? Do you got any questions with that? Okay. So you want you... me to the letter H? Yes. To the letter S? Yes. Do you got any questions with that? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, that's... Uh, it's kind of awkward, really. Okay. Because... You said you know the alphabet. Because uh, the H... Yeah, I mean, I can do the letter H. Go on. Okay. Go ahead and begin if you, if you don't have any questions. Yeah, just still the location. You might call them and see if they are going to be nice enough maybe to take uh, our pictures. Can you... Uh, please, like... Uh, I'm giving you the instructions, H to S. Can you do it or not? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so... Uh, I, can you just give me an example, please? I, I'm not going to give you an example. It's the alphabet, man. You said you know the alphabet. You have a college degree. It should be fairly simple. But I don't understand what you, what you want. It's, a, it's either you're going to do the test or you're not. I'll do it. Yes. Okay, then, so then say from H to S. Don't sing the alphabet. Well, what do you mean? Like, what do you mean? Like, uh... Okay. So, for the next one, I'm going to have you count down from the number 62 to the number 47. Okay. Can you do that for me? Starting at 62, ending at 47. Okay. All Got right. that? Yeah. Sure. Go ahead and start. Uh, 62, 61, 62, 61, 62, 
to All right, go and stop right there, man. Go and stop right there. Uh, do you want to try the alphabet one from H to S? All right, let's, uh, yeah, let's try it. Okay, go ahead and give it a shot. Remember, H to S, starting at H, ending at S. Okay. H. You don't know what's after H? I don't like that one. Okay. Are you going to stop the test then? I'll, I'll still... I can still test. Okay, so are you going to continue or are you going to stop right there? I just don't understand this. Um, you're going backwards, you're going H, I. Are you going backwards? I just don't understand the uh, test. What you're doing right here. I told you to go forward, remember? From H? From H to S. It's pretty simple. Oh. oh. H I J K L M N O A Q R S. Go. Cool. Alright. I so just didn't understand what you wanted to do. Yeah. Uh, Alright, go and stand up, bro. Go and stand up. Go and turn around for me. Go and turn around. Go and turn around. All right, so you're going to be placed under arrest for DWI, okay? Don't, don't forget his phone. Okay, I'll yeah. Put it, I'll put it yeah. Up Let's go over here to the to the passenger side, okay, man? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me double lock these so they don't get tighter on you, okay? Five forty five Sencom. Go ahead and have a seat inside of here. I have one fifteen for forty seven at this time. All right. All right, man. I gotta read you something important, okay? All right, listen to me, I'm about to tell you something important. You're under arrest for DWI, okay? The New Mexico Implied Consent Act requires you to submit to a breath test to determine the alcohol content of your blood. After you take our test, you have the right to choose an additional independent test. If you choose to take this additional independent test, you have the right to a reasonable opportunity to arrange for a physician, a licensed nurse or laboratory technician, or technologist who is employed by a hospital or physician of your own choice to perform an additional chemical test. The cost of this additional test will be paid by the law enforcement agency. Do you agree to take our test? Okay. Yeah. Yes or no? Do I take the test right now? No, 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 no. Yes or no? Okay, yes. Yes, okay, cool. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. Do you got anything in your mouth, man? Oh, I'm gonna read you. Do you got anything in your mouth, man? No. No. Here, open your mouth for me. Open your mouth for me, bro. Do you got any dip in your mouth or anything? Move your. Open your mouth wide. Move your tongue around. Up, down. Yep. Left, right. Okay. All right. So, I'm going to read you one other thing, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand each of these rights as I've explained to you? Sorry. 
Yes or no? Okay. Yes or no? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. All right. So if I had if I had a question about what what's going on tonight, could I ask you later? I don't have any questions right now. What do you mean? Like, could I ask you in the future? Like, I don't I don't have any questions. But if I did, for whatever reason, could I ask you in the future? Yes or no? Yes or no, man? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, give me one sec, okay, man? I'm going to hold on to uh, your phone. Okay, we'll keep it up over here in the front. Is there anything else you want from the car? Uh, 545 Sincon. 545 Sincon. Uh, yes. Black consent was read, and he did it. He did agree to take the test. Uh, mouth is free and clear. If you can start my deprivation time starting now. I just What's wonder, uh, you know, you gave me the whole test, but um, I just wonder why. What do you mean, why? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Toby! <laughs> Okay. How's it going, man? I'm here to pick up my son. Okay. Oh, yeah. After failing various field sobriety tests, 41-year-old Jeremy Guthrie would eventually be arrested and charged for driving while intoxicated. But that wouldn't keep him behind bars, and investigators felt something was off. A 41-year-old man was driving around with children not related to him. It just didn't feel right at all. On top of that, it was later revealed he had given alcohol to them. So six counts of child abuse by endangerment was added to his charge sheet, meaning he wouldn't be released without seeing a judge first. The mere fact a defendant was driving a vehicle in which a child was a passenger while the defendant was intoxicated, standing alone is sufficient as a matter of law to support a conviction for child abuse by endangerment. When Jeremy appeared in court a day after his initial arrest, his defense stated that the child abuse charges shouldn't stand. It was too harsh, they said. The judge disagreed, but allowed Jeremy to be released pending further court hearings. I'll go ahead and follow the PSA and release you on your own recognizance. But... Jeremy wouldn't be released. You see, upon further investigation, police discovered that he had allegedly been raping some of the minors that were present in the vehicle. Remember the passenger in the front seat? The girl who police questioned if she was really 18 years old? Well, she was just 12 years old when her and her twin sister met Jeremy via Snapchat. Although some reports claim the girls were friends of Jeremy's children because believe it or not, he did have children of his own who were the same age as the minors that were present in his vehicle. Over the span of a rough 10-month period, Jeremy had allegedly been raping the twins, and the main victim, that girl in the front passenger seat, allegedly got pregnant as a result of the rape. She would later go on to have a miscarriage. When the girls were questioned by police as witnesses, they stated that he had not only been raping them, but also a third child, that Jeremy was an avid meth user, and that he was excited at the prospect of getting the main victim pregnant once again. Yes, only three weeks before this initial police stop, the girl had allegedly been raped and everyone was expecting her to get pregnant again. After building a second case against him, prosecutors would go on to charge Jeremy with criminal sexual penetration in relation to the three girls and contributing to the delinquency of a minor. When he went before a judge with the new charges, he was refused bail. The district attorney's office is looking into allegations that a rape suspect is contacting his victim from behind bars. That is what the grandmother of one of the victims is saying about 41-year-old Jeremy Guthrie. News 13's Annalisa Pardo talked to that grandmother today. She's here this evening with details. Well, we have screenshots of messages. The grandmother says Guthrie sent her twin granddaughters over Instagram from jail. Now, it's possible someone else may be behind that account, but all of this is still enough for detectives in the DA's office to look into.
and then I got a call that they were all in the car. Uh, there was six six of them, and was with this guy. And so I I had no clue. She soon learned police charged Guthrie with raping one of her 13 year old twin granddaughters. The grandma says the girl was impregnated by Guthrie and suffered a miscarriage when she was just 12 years old. Makes me sick. I'm livid to what he did to my granddaughters, and he's just a very, very sick person. Now the grandma claims Guthrie is messaging her granddaughters from MDC. She first learned of the messages on Monday night. I was over where my one of my granddaughters was, and she told my other granddaughter that he had contacted her. She sent us these screenshots. She says is Guthrie messaging one of her granddaughters. He asked for money. The grandma says she even asked her granddaughter to send this to see how far he'd go. She told her granddaughter to write, I ran away and asked him to pick her up. He writes back, quote, and how am I supposed to do that when I'm in jail? He is in jail. How the heck is all this happening when he's in jail like that's just that's crazy through the granddaughter the grandma asks how he's messaging from jail guthrie says he paid to use a guard's phone the grandma claims he also threatened her granddaughters she says the messages stopped when the granddaughter wrote police knew he was talking to them parents check your kids social media accounts their gaming stuff uh you never yeah i never thought in a million years that this would happen to my family and it is there is an in-depth reporting about this case so it's unclear how jeremy had access to several minors and to be honest we have more questions than answers why did no one question the young girl's pregnancy at such a young age and try and have a look into that why wasn't jeremy reported to the police at an earlier date i did see some reports say that the twins grandma had made contact with the police months ago to report him and those reports were swept under the rug but as you've just heard that isn't the case she only recently found out ultimately though for jeremy to have had such a close relationship with the children and no one even noticed just goes to show that they've been let down by the adult figures in their lives and the authorities that watch over them there hasn't been any updates in regards to this case so it isn't clear if jeremy pleaded guilty to the charges that were placed against him how old are you and hey, don't lie to me I'm like, okay, like, I'm not gonna play this, the game where you lie. I know that, I, I know that you're not 18, okay? So if you wanna have attitude, you in the front, okay? We go about it another way. Simple as that. So if, so if I sense any attitude or you give me lip, we'll do it another way. How old are you? Just your age, that's all I need is your age. Cool, then I guess what? Everybody goes to juvie. Simple as that. I can, I can, I can, I can't let who you are. I will, I'll, book, I'll book all six of you guys under under Jane or John Doe. Simple as that. Is that is that what you guys? Are? Right now, right now, you guys aren't in trouble. Yes, you guys aren't in trouble right now. What's that? Okay, how old are you? Fourteen. Fourteen. Thank you. Simple, simple question. Fourteen. Four, really, fourteen? Yes, sir. Okay. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Thirteen. Okay. Thirteen. Okay. Fourteen. Okay, who's this guy to anybody? Yeah, that's our homies. And then she knows his kid. Okay. So, that there's your homie? Or, okay, so you, got, you, you guys all need to call your parents. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, and have your parents meet, meet us here. 